There's, there's no magic bullet here. There's no super protein drink you can have. There's, you know, having your, um, uh, your, your kale juice every morning is not necessarily going to make a difference. We're not that we know. The more respectful you are of your body's capacity to get rid of the infection and you are trying to help it along, the better. And so what I would say is you should eat normally. Healthy food, not junk. You should not smoke. You should not be drinking alcohol, if possible. You should uh, be sleeping as you need to in terms of your night times, especially. No major late nights. No, you know, you don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning. Let yourself have the eight or nine hours that you might need. and Some people need more. Progressively, they'll need less, but those are the sorts of things they can do. Avoid exposures to noxious, irritative things, um, generally. Uh, but there's, there's not a lot else you can do. You, does exercise help? Well, not being sedentary entirely probably does help. But, you know, I can't quantitate that. I can say that, you know, generally it's not good to be sedentary entirely anyway. So it, it's like applying the common sense rules to I guess I'd just say, try to relax and understand that you don't get better instantly from these infections and give yourself a little bit of time. But obviously, if you are symptomatic persistently, then you should see a doctor. You should go to see someone and talk it through and really find out are these symptoms uh, due to persisting inflammation? Is your chest X-ray normal? Um, you know, I think it's really important that people don't just put off and put off seeking some uh, medical advice about these things. Much better to seek that advice than to just ask your friends what they think. I'd encourage people if they know they've had COVID and they feel um, you know, a week after they should have recovered that they're still persistently symptomatic to, to see a, uh, a doctor about it.